let us try and change this blank background on the stage area so what do we call background in scratch backdrop and where is it here if you see stage down it's showing a blank white backdrops so we will call it backdrops how do we change it here we have collection of pre-made backdrops you can go to choose a backdrop click and you'll have a lot of different backdrops here you can click and pick any let's take moon so our cat has landed on moon okay so how do we change things in backdrops if you see here the sprite is clicked so you see here costumes it is different sprites or what action they are doing that kind of costumes which you can use in your block programs to create some kind of actions now if you want backdrops different you have to click on backdrops and you will see here you can see backdrops instead of costumes and here is our blank one and this is our moon and so on so forth you can collect here more backdrops you can also create your own here are the tools given in the blank area you can use the rectangle circle you can write some text fill colors paint etc you can take your cursor and have a look at all these options plus if you have different objects how do you group them here let's make a simple backdrop uh, fill it with let's make grass here you can change the colors here I want greenish a little dark and we draw a rectangle here now if you see it is giving a outline black if you don't want the outline undo it this is undo button and this is the outline button you click on it and say this slash means no outline will be put in the rectangle so now let's select here is a rectangle which looks like grass there is no black outline now and for our sky let's say blue we want lighter blue you can see the changes happening here in the fill color this blue lighter blue okay and you fill it here this is a sky this is a scenery we have a scenery of outdoor or let's say uh, we have some other things like say a plant you click on this line too and make a probably it's a tree or something not a good art but then you can try your imagination here and you fill some color sorry you fill some color here probably a little of dark green to make it or brown for a little muddy look since this is the rectangle we have selected fill color will be used for the rectangle we will use here instead of drawing this line let's undo undo this line and put a square because if you want to fill color you will have to always use a square which we want in color of brownish 
like a mud okay and then you can have your you won't be able to fill color this with this because it's not a shape you're drawing with line with line you don't fill in so let us again undo take a circle let's make a tree look like this and then with this you can change these edges if you want to make it look little tree like here okay and we'll fill in a darker green this should be enough and we fill it in here this is a tree so you use shapes so that you can easily fill in colors let us have some rocks around you take circle and let us have gray color for a uh, brownish let's take gray and then again we'll it's easy here take the edge and just make it this way push it upward and here it looks like a rock so a tree a rock here is your paint brush that is so when you are drawing with line tool you cannot use fill bucket rather we will use brush and let us make the tree bark this is a bark of the trunk of the tree its bark is usually brownish yes we will take this and then with the brush we fill in looks prettier and more like tree your brown trunk of the tree also if you want to see it close here is a magnifier you click on it it will show you closer If you have your color changes, you want the same color, you can pick color. Here is your brown again, a little bit lighter. Here you click on it. Here you Take this if you want exactly the same. This color, you got it. And then again with the brush, you can color it this way. If you want exactly the same color, you, you pick it from the fill here you want little different shades on the bark you can alter it and put some something darker also a more natural look and then zoom out again this is your tree <laughs> okay so this is it you can experiment and draw whatever you want and create a backdrop and if you see here your backdrop is saved. Coming to the sprite, make it stand here. Okay, now our sprite is in this background which you draw, which is called backdrops. And here we have moon if you want to change it. Let us make a little code. If you see when it is selected on backdrops, you, the, it cannot move. For backdrops, do not move. So let's go to 
this bright motion. First thing first, let's take when the green flag is clicked from the events. We'll say make the cat to move. The sprite has to move. Ten steps. Or let us make it hundred steps, a bigger step. And then let us change the background as it moves ahead. We'll how do we change the backdrops? We go to here. Move this then. Next costume, sorry. Next switch, backdrop or next backdrop. Because we have just two. We don't have many. So we will just say go to next backdrop. Let us see what happens. We click the flag. It moved ahead and then the next. So you could not see how it is moving. We will put a little wait button so that you can know it moved. It look more real. See? Two seconds. Let's see it again. We go to the first background. That is backdrop. Make a cat here. And let us see our code. So this is how you can use the backdrops to make different scenarios. Have fun there. Experiment with all the facilities given in the backdrops. Create your own or use from this and we can make programs accordingly.